early 2022. That was 3rd of January 2022. I was at the mountain praying, so while I was there, I was about closing for the week. I went for one week prayer. So that's um, faithful thought of January. I was thinking something else, and uh, the voice of the Lord, the Lord of God, spoke to me and said, He said, My daughter, you are living today. And there's this message I want to pass out to you. And I said, I'm tired of praying, I want to go. And the voice said, You don't be tired, you're living today, but this message is, is crucial. What was the message? He said, this message is a message you're going to relate with the woman, with the, with the gospel singer. He said, gospel singer. I said, gospel singer. I was not sleeping, I was, I was meditating but when the voice came. He said, a, a gospel singer. He said, you're going to go and look for Mr. Chimo. I said, yes. I said, this is a lady, I love her music. I don't know her in person, but I love her music. Each time I want to be spiritual, I play her music. And then, so the voice said, I'm going to look for her. I said, when will I see Mr. Chungo? He said, you are in River State. Because I went to Akibwe Camp of Faith for these prayers. He said, you are in River State. He said, try and ask people that know Mr. Chungo. Even I even called my, 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 uh, my little uh, brother. He said it, she does, he doesn't have a, a message, she wants a contact. What was this message? Monica said, I should go look for a message, she wants that this lady is a lady with her songs. She can, she can pull down heaven. The voice said, we can, with her song, songs, the dead can be risen. With her songs, people get their depression. He said, go and look for a message, she wants. He said, as soon as you get her, tell her that there is a disgrace that is before her soon. It will be accomplished. He said, people are jealous. He said, her fellow uh, uh, gospel singers are jealous of the gift of God upon her life. He said, look for her. He said, tell her that five suitors, he said, five men are before her this season, this day. Five men are before her. And um, before those men arrive in her life, let her look for an old car. The voice said, an old car. In other words, it's not a flashy one. He said, let her look for an old car. What I believe, what I sense in that, in that message is, Looking for an old car is like rendering herself unto whatever thing the Lord says she should do. She should be serious. He said, let her look for a Volvo or a Mercedes wagon and go for an outreach walk. He said, let her go for an outreach walk. You know outreach work now? People used to you carry your instruments. You just move. In other words, you go from one rural area to other. You can go from one village to another. In other words, you evangelize. And in this case, she has to be serious. It's the point that if she does not align to this message, he will bring her back to square one. As in, he will bring her back to one room. In fact, when Holy Ghost showed me the one room, I shook my head. So I'm going to bring her back. Look at this room. I bring her back to this top. You know, bringing somebody, somebody that has managed, tried, and is progressing in life, is, is moving on. You're bringing the person back to is, is something else. It's something we don't imagine. Starting afresh. You know, disgrace. And the voice said, tell her, and even, even when the voice came and said, tell her, the Lord showed me the Volvo. She was inside, she was with a mic, she was preaching the voice, she was preaching the word of God, her, her voice was echoing, she was preaching, sweat all over her, she was shouting. 
And um, the voice said, why I want her to embark herself on this journey, on this outreach work, is that I'm going to send him a blessed man. He said, a blessed man is coming away. He said, pastor is coming away. He said, the voice said, the voice came and, the voice came and said, five suitors are before her. Five men are before her. So, in terms of going on this, embarking on this journey of outreach and evangelism, the man would arrive. Remember, I said it is 12th of January 2022. Tell her to be very, very fast and do that because they are going to set this disgrace before her. In other words, coming back, coming back to square one is how do I continue the great career that God has put in me? So, and immediately I, I got shot. The coals filled my body. I said, Holy Ghost, there's no message that God has given to me that does not come to pass. And that is why each time I am seeing somebody, uh, show me somebody is going to die in a family, I rush because it's happening. But it's just a few years ago, I told God it cannot be in this form. When a message of death or painful message is coming my way, I should have this grace to pray so it doesn't come to pass. It's only the good ones, maybe um, something you know, testimony, that one can just come immediately. So when that message, when I realized myself, I got shocked and I, I said, ah, I prepared, I came back. So fourth, past, fifth, sixth, you know, until when it was 15th of that month, I began to ask people. I, although I was asking few people that I was not anxious of. I tried to swallow that message. I said, this message, I don't know how to go on this message. So when that January, uh, was over. We entered first week of February. And that voice came again and said, I gave you a message of this lady and you want to, you just want to, you want to vanish that message. My daughter, it is very wrong. I called you that each message that comes your way, you'll be able to share. Those you don't even know you can. Although at times I get message from, I get message in government house, I get message in Castle Rock, I get message in the life of prominent people, men and women. But I pray, and I don't know them. But this one is just that the name was called. So when it was first week and second week of February, I, in this case, I was now going down spiritually. I was, I was having this fever, you know? It seems as if the, the message was weighing me down. And that is how it's supposed to be. I said, no, 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 let me go to, where, which radio station can I go now? Do I go to Abba? Because I was close to, I'm, I'm very close to Abba, do I go to Abba? And the voice said, no, don't go to Abba. Which one do you know? I said, the one I normally, I like to listen in is Wazobia Radio. That is a station I like listening. And the voice said, if that is the station you like, then go. And, uh, the voice said, if you get to reduce, uh, um, I was at that station, tell Omoto, tell him that he has made, he has been made a leader. In any place he go to, he has, been, he has been made a leader. That was the gift that God gave to him from when he was born. Tell him that. Said, okay. So I went to Wazobi, I spent, I spent close to 5,000 plus. So when I got there that early morning, it was very early, it was from 7.30 to 8. So as soon as I got there, I met a man, maybe, probably he's the gate man of that station. So I went, I said, sir, good morning. He said, morning, madam. Can I, where, can I help you? I said, yes, sir. I want to, how can I see Omoto? How, how can I get in touch with him? He said, Omoto just left now. I said, yeah, wow, what would I do? And um, he said, you want to see him? I said, sir, I want to see Omoto now. I'm coming from Abia State. Let me achieve something at hand, he said, okay. He now picked up his phone and called Omoto. While he called Omoto, Omoto said that somebody's already waiting for him in their station, was their station, that he's on his way coming to the station. And the man said, he's coming. I said, okay, sir. So when he came, a car passed me and entered the, uh, the compound, a red, there's a red jeep. 
And uh, after some few seconds, I was asked to come inside, so I went inside. So while I was coming inside, he was entering the restaurant, a buka. There's a buka inside. He entered and said, Are you the person the lady looking for me? I said, Yes, he come inside. I entered. So I he sat down. In this case, he was he was requesting for food. He said he wanted to eat that he's very hungry. And I remember what the lady gave to him, the what I gave to him was the pussy soup and their bar. No, he was making just, they were all making funny things, they were, he was laughing with the lady. So he said, Madam, this is how I behave, I say, sir, I know you now. And uh, when he finished eating that food, he said, eh, hey, I have arrived. Madam, you're welcome. So, thank you, sir. He said, what can I do for you? I said, sir, I came, I came in respect of uh, my situation, the gospel singer. He said, wow. Hope all is well. I said, yeah, it's very, very well. I, I, I want to, let me get in touch with her. You know, I was not telling him I, I wanted uh, her phone number. No, 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 no. I don't behave that way. If God has made you blessed, you will be blessed. So I told him, huh, I want to, but if I cannot, I'm not requesting for her number. I said, a message came. And I have to relay this message to you so that if you have a number, you can call and, told, and tell her a woman of God came in search of her. Then if you want to meet me one on one, you cannot give her my phone number. If she doesn't, then forget about it. That was when he now relaxed and said, how is the message? Like I said, I have a message for this woman. The Lord told me that in, in time to very soon that she's going to make this mistake that will bring her back to school one. Um, the suitors is, uh, is all over her. Five are ready, but one she has to go for one. And the one that she, she will go for is not just a carnal man, but a man of God, a blessed child of God, a pastor that will help her, that both of them will help themselves and pilot the work of God. In other words, she should start going for evangelism and outreach work, not in a flashy cow, a Volvo. As in this old Volvo, you know, message this Volvo, one gold. She should be using it with her instrument and be going for evangelism. So, uh, and they asked me, is this soon? I said that message, they said the message came last month, third of last month, January. But I didn't know what to do. In this case, it's, the thing is hammering all over me, so I decided to run and come and give the message. So, in that case, he told me, he said, Mr. Chiwa is not around. And Mr. Chiwa went for a concert in the US. And Mr. Chiwa is, a, is, a, is his own person. And she went on a tour in the US. I said, wow, that's great. It's okay, sir. So, I was expecting him to give me her number. So, on my own, I can call her. This is what I do. I call her, encourage her, tell her there is a message. If she wants me to come to her, fine. If she doesn't want me to come to her, no problem. She said, Madam, ah, quite interesting. You try to, from all, from, uh, all the way from Matthias, I told, I told you yes. Suitors that come, the Lord said, if she makes this down mistake, it's going to bring her back to one store. In other words, she has to start another new life. For God to send, bring one to a shop, I think it's a, it's a sign of tears, you know. It's all over again, you know, disgrace. And he said, this is a message for what is about to happen. Suitors have prepared one. Five cannot go, one. She should be very, very careful and start with evangelism. So evangelism will help her as the man comes, both of them will now start, start up and, and go on their tree. So he was, Papa was glad and I gave him his own message. He said yes, that the one I gave to him is what has been happening in his life. Even last month it happened, even last two months it happened, even this last week it happened. Madam, God bless you. Thank you so much. Your name, I told you my name. He asked me my level of my level in the ministry. I told him, and I left, and that was all. And then February passed, March, April, there was no call. We 
May, I think sometime, sometime May, ending of May or thereabout, and if I heard that a man, she has been engaged, or she wants to be engaged with a man of God, Pastor Blessed. I remember the message I laughed. So that was what I wanted to. I said, let me go in search of this woman again. And the voice said, there's no need. No need of going to her. I mean, no need. Forget about it. For, for God, for Christ's sake, I prayed. I was praying for her. And when the man came, you know, maybe there about two months later, they did their traditional marriage and their wife wedding. Even when she was, when, even after their wedding, it was not long. While I was still praying in a mountain, the Lord said, I am going to give a baby boy. The voice said, I'm going to give a baby boy. Do you understand me? So I don't really know whether something happened that period and that one passed. Do you understand me? As soon as we keep going, he said, I'm going to bless her with the baby boy. That was the voice that came first. And the long run, maybe she had a miscarriage or maybe I don't, I don't know. That whole year passed. And then when we entered 2023, before her song that she wore blue with crowd of people, the Lord said, I have blessed her. I have blessed her with the fruit of the baby. And I said, I don't know this woman. I have not seen her one-on-one, -on -one, but I love her music. I'm using her music to pray, so I love her music. It may be because of the, her music I loved is why I'm getting her revelations, you understand? So that period, before you know it, they said she's pregnant, and I believe that God was already doing something new in her life. But to my, my greatest of, okay, that's same 2023, I, I went to mountain for prayers, and the while I was praying, and uh, the voice came and said, you're going to call on talk. And as you call him, pray for the wife. The voice said, pray for the wife. I said, don't talk to somebody I, I went to see. I, I went to meet with him and gave him this lady's revelation. Revelation is something that, that God will want to, if it is, uh, if it is a, maybe a bad one, if it is something that will not benefit one, God has to give it earlier before time. So if you know how to pray, you can pray and cancel. Why it was not a good one, I started praying. And the Lord said, you are going to pray for the wife. And then ask him, if the message you gave, I gave you from messaging where if he had sent her the message. So I called him. I called him through WhatsApp. He gave me his wow, as I was living, he gave me his number. So I called him through the WhatsApp uh, number. He was not picking my calls. I called him twice, he was not picking, so I stopped. And um, after a while, his message dropped. He said, the message was, he typed, who is this? Who is this? I quickly picked up my phone, I typed, I said, that is the woman of God that came to the station and gave him a situation uh, message, revelation. So, and he replied and said, was I supposed to call him in this group? Was I supposed to call him in this group? Was I supposed to call him in this group? That was July 2023. I, and, I, and I replied, I, I replied him back, I said, I don't understand. Is there any, uh, is there, is there any mistake? So I expected him to reply and said, yes so or not. So when I saw that message, was I supposed to call him in this group? I didn't call him again. I stopped. And I prayed. I said, Holy Spirit, you are going to be with this woman. This is a woman that God has blessed so much that even her, her fellow singers are jealous. They are jealous of her. You know, they are jealous of her. And God wouldn't want her to be a disgrace to the to the country so that people who know more can laugh her. So when he sent this message, I passed. The message was not the first person I God has been giving me. I've sent messages to so many people, it's free of charge. I don't call them. 
But if you feel you want to bless me, then go ahead. So I know how many governors I'm praying for. They don't even know that I'm praying for them. And I know, but so long I, the Bible says pray. He said, even before you start thinking of praying, or praying for yourself, pray for people, pray for nation. So that is how everything went through 2023 20, July, and uh, I was not bothering again to, to call. I said, one day I'm still going to meet with her. And uh, unfortunately, this message came, and uh, we're talking about uh, the child is for so so, -so person, is not for so, so person, and all those stuff. I said, God. This is why God gave me the message of this woman. That this man did not relate the message. Don't want to talk, never related this message to message. You child, no, 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 no. It's a serious matter. And the Lord said, This is why I gave you the message two years ago. My daughter, you're still going back to announce. Go back and tell the world it is not the way that men think it is. This is something that they have carried out from the kingdom of darkness in order to weigh her down. But how I wish that this man was able to relate the message. My situation would have prepared herself and be ready for the fight that, that was coming ahead of her, which is this period. So I said, no, let me go back to to the next stop, let me go back on air and tell the whole world that it is not the way. Mr. Chinwa is a, she's a, I think, a, how do I put it? She's pure of whatever thing that people are just carrying her name, jamming her name here and there, trying to, you know, black is a black male in the want to black and stop her career by fire by force. They want to stop her. But God cannot stop her because she has been called on it. From her mother's womb, God has called her blessed. After her wedding, they, they long gave me the message of, of her mother. They even wanted to, to, uh, no, to afflict her with the mother. The mother afflict her with stroke. The Lord said, they are coming with stroke. My daughter prayed for the mother. I was praying for the mother. The wife wanted to start going to, uh, start asking, yeah, where is Mr. Chima the mother? No, where, where would I go to? I make sure, I prayed, I prayed for the mother for three, four days. I was praying for the mother. And the Lord said, healing has come. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to keep this aside. It's, it's in the same line with the, 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 the uh, these are, Story I've just given now. So she's pure of what is what are scandalizing her name for. 